Bacteria levels in drinking water have to be below 100 CFU per mill of water to meet the UK and EU legal requirements. Many dental unit water lines produce bacteria levels well in excess of that figure. QWS red samplers are proven to have an accuracy equivalent to UCAS certified laboratories and can be used to easily ascertain if the water tested is of drinking quality. Take your red sampler and locate the 18mm fill mark. Remove the paddle from the sample pot and fill to the 18mm mark from your 3-in-1 syringe. Place the paddle back into the pot and close securely. Place red side up on a flat surface for 30 seconds. Wait 30 seconds for the water sample to be absorbed into the freeze-dried media. You may see an air bubble pop out of a small hole on the red side of the paddle. Remove the paddle from the pot and discard the sample. Replace the sample in the pot ready for labelling and incubation. Lay the sample red side up in a drawer or cupboard for seven days at room temperature. Samplers should be read seven days after performing the sampler test. After this time, count any dots that have appeared on the sampler. It is best to use a magnifying lens or to photograph the sampler. Angling the sampler may help avoid flash from the lighting, making it easier to identify colonies. In some cases, especially where no control measures have been in place, a complete overgrowth can occur. This uniform film of organisms can be mistaken for a no growth. Using magnification and viewing from an angle can help differentiate. You can use a blunt instrument to wipe across part of the surface of the sampler. If this clears an area with slime appearing on the instrument, then complete overgrowth should be suspected. Negative growth samplers do not show this clearing effect. Don't forget to magnify and photograph the sampler. Remember that size, colour and shape of dots don't matter. It is the total number of colonies that need to be recorded. This is your CFU count. Record your CFU count on your audit sheet. Fill the containers with 18 mils of an appropriate disinfectant solution. Reinsert the sampler, press firmly to seal then dispose of the sampler in an appropriate waste area.